Lexar's Professional Workflow HR2 Hub aims to replace your traditional USB 3.0 card reader, but expand it to unlimited possibilities and a lot of higher efficiency. It walks a fine line between being the one device that any photographer or videographer has always needed in their workflow, or just being a total confusing waste of money. Which one is it? This video is made possible thanks to lynda.com. lynda.com makes it easy to pick up new skills, grow your hobbies, or learn to use new software through their in-depth and easy-to-follow video tutorials and courses. I try to post tutorials as often as I can, but you can't beat the extensive coverage on lynda.com. I still go through lynda courses on the regular to learn new things. You can get a special 10-day free trial by clicking the screen now or going to epostvox.com slash lynda to learn more. So what is the Lexar HR2 Workflow Hub? Well, in essence, if I take the expansion bays out, it is literally just a USB 3.0 hub. It has four standard USB 3 A to B connections on these inside slots, and then it has a USB A to B out on the back with a power jack and two Thunderbolt ports in case you're on a Mac and want to take advantage of Thunderbolt, uh, Thunderbolt, Thunderbolt, uh, which I would highly recommend doing if you're on a Mac that supports Thunderbolt. So essentially by itself, if you just buy the HR2, it is essentially just a closed in proprietary USB 3.0 hub. And that's my first problem with the device. Spoiler alert, this device, if you load it up and use it appropriately, actually does improve your workflow quite a bit. And I'm pretty happy with my experience with it overall. But my problem is if you just spend the $150 to get this black box, you don't actually get anything. You can't do anything with this without getting the expansion cards, the little modules for different card readers. It's kind of weird. So, okay, you buy them bundled. You buy the expansion hub and then you buy the card readers yourself. So they sent me with my review sample of the hub, they sent me one of their SR2 card readers, which is an SD card reader that goes all the way up to UHS class two or whatever, the fastest one. And they sent me one of those memory cards as well, which is actually fixed my camera workflow. So many thanks to Lexar for that. So, okay, you have one card reader. So it's $150, well, up to $170 like for a single card reader, not exactly value for your money. But the cool part is when it comes in and you can put multiple modules in. So now I have two USB 3.0 card readers in here. And then in the future, once I have the funds available or what have you, I plan on actually getting the expansion base. So they have card readers for pretty much all memory card types. They have SD, CFast cards, micro SD, and then they actually have solid state drives that you can put in here. So they have a 512 storage option and a 256 store gigabyte storage option and they have LED indicators on the front to indicate how much storage is left in the drive. Suddenly this is a lot more valuable. And the best part is, is that it's totally modular. So if you just keep the expansion slots lying around, you know, next to it stacked up, then whatever you're moving over from your video shoot or your photo shoot, you can just pop these all in and pop your cards in and transfer all your files. So when you're investing in the Lexar HR2 workflow hub, you're actually investing in its potential and not the value of the product itself. And that's where it gets kind of iffy with a $150 price point for basic users, for pro videographers and photographers and people who use, you know, memory cards a lot. It probably isn't going to be that bad if it improves your workflow enough. And for me, I have to say it probably does. I definitely want to max it out with the other two slots. I'm thinking at some point I'm going to get the 512 gigabyte storage option. And that way I'm always going to have a backup drive of my photos on the hub itself, which will be kind of cool. And then I'll get another card reader of some sort, maybe even SD because in my workflow, which is, this will be where it comes in, why this device is useful in my workflow. I have my DSLR camera. I have my audio recorder. And then for a lot of videos, I also have my camcorder all going at the same time. So that's three different US or SD cards that I need to transfer files from. And when I do big video shoots like this one or where I shoot multiple videos at one time, that is a lot of file space on all three memory cards. I traditionally use a Kingston USB 3.0 card reader. And I mean, it, it's really fast, but it's only one card at a time. So that means that there's still a limit of how quickly I can transfer files. And that becomes a pretty big problem because if I'm trying to get them all over a lot, I have to do one card at a time and it can take a while. With this bad boy, I just load up all three cards or all three cards because I use these two with my Kingston reader at the moment until I get more expansion bays. I put them all in and copy them all at once. And since it's running off USB 3.0, and you know, there's multiple hubs, it transfers really, really fast. And it's helped a lot. No card switching, no losing cards, no forgetting to transfer files off cards. They're all right there. 
and it's it's really nice. So who is the HR2 Workflow Hub for? It's for photographers, videographers, and anybody who uses a lot of memory cards at one time and needs to transfer a lot of files between them or off of them at one time. It is for those who can invest the money in it in an actual investment into your workflow and setup rather than a product itself. And that's why it's called a workflow or a workflow hub itself is because you're buying the workflow. You're not buying a gadget that does something. You're buying a workflow. It's pretty freaking cool. And I have to say, once I load it up with a 512 gigabyte SSD and another card reader of some sort, it is going to be one baller workflow that I can then just take with me wherever I need to, and it'll be super fast. And that is one more cool thing I want to mention about these modules, is since they all hook up inside the hub via that USB A to B cable, or port, they all come with that USB 3.0 A to B cable, and so you can actually use these as individual card readers on the go. So if you max out your workflow hub, because remember I mentioned previously, uh, if you used a lot of different modules, you could just stack them up next to it and plug them in as you needed them. Well, you could also just keep plugging them into your computer if you needed to use more than this had sufficiently available and just use them by themselves. One last nitpicky problem I have, well, two less nitpicky problems I have with it. The card readers are only single card readers at a time. I'm not sure, especially given the size of the little module bricks and the USB 3.0 power, why they couldn't fit two SD cards in here or SD and micro SD. I, to me, that almost feels like a way of just getting more money out of you having to buy more hubs. I really feel like they could make a lot more multi card hubs of the modules, but I'm not the one who made it, so that's not necessarily my call. Lastly, the front and back is this really glossy material that picks up fingerprints and dirt and grime really super easily and it drives me insane. Same with the front of the modules. The, side, the little wraparound side is a very nice matte black that doesn't pick up anything. But then the front and back pick up all your gross fingerprints and I would have much rather just had a matte black finish overall. So that's my take on the Lexar HR2 workflow hub. Key thing to remember is that you are investing in a workflow. You are not buying a single card reader or a single gadget. You are investing in a workflow with a modular design that is going to cost you some money. But if you see yourself using multiple cards often, it's definitely something worth considering. A copy of this review with full technical specifications and some high quality photos will be up on my website with the link in the description below as well. Be sure to check out our social media pages and our Patreon campaign where you can support this channel via a monthly contribution. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like the video if you like it, leave a comment down below, and subscribe to the channel for more awesome tech videos. My name's been Adam Repos Vox, and I will see you in the next video. You've just watched another epic tech video from me, Epos Vox. Consider crushing that like button and subscribing to the channel. That way you never miss an upload. Also, check the links in the description to follow me on Twitter and Facebook, and hit up our Patreon campaign for early access to videos. See you in the next epic tech video.